fact, my name is Jim Bidell, folks. Jim Bidell, talking about for 30 years back. And most, many of the points I had put on a piece of paper have been covered already, and I'm not going to try to kick them around again. But to make it a personal story, I was a geology, geology major at URI, uh, graduated, had my good year, Dean's List, got a phone call from the uh, Rhode Island Board of Education, someone up at Rick. We need science teachers in 1973. Did you ever consider not being a geologist and being a teacher? Come on up and let us talk to you. Took the ride to Providence. The part of the interview I remember most was he said, you'll never make what you'll make in the industry, but you'll retire with an inflation-proof uh, retirement for the rest of your life. 30 years later, I retired. A few I did never got a uh, cost of living increase. And I'm, I'm speaking actually on behalf of I was already retired, my wife Francesca. The people who were already retired, I think, are the only group with nowhere to go. We have already chosen our homes, chosen our neighborhoods, chosen the colleges we can send our kids to. Uh, and now that I'm retired, I cannot change that. I cannot, I can't even, it was against the law to go back and get my job because that's part of how the teacher system was set up. You can't just go back and be a teacher. And that's the frustration. And I heard Gina say, I'm still dogged by the pension with this quizzical look on her face, like, gee, I don't know why. And part of it was people like, like myself who have no way to recover what had happened. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts at $8 you know, an hour is not what I was anticipating. I'm 70 years old. That's not what I thought I'd be today. And I'll leave with one point that that for you might actually be educational as well as for your uh, financial guy. The same line of intelligent people we're working for them, they got them. We went to financial planners our whole life. And every time I sat down and delivered it, we would get to the end and they'd say, no, you have a bomb-proof cola, so you don't have to put the money here. Oh, no, I know it's on the edge, but you could afford to let your kid go there because you have a bomb-proof cola. And then, of course, I retire and there's no cola. And I was pissed, so I started to look into it. And I said, why is this a series of financial planners? Why are they telling me you have a cold and you don't have to worry about it at all? So I found a book that they, the state of Rhode Island prints and gives to people studying to do financial plan. You have to pass a state test. And let me make sure I get this straight. Uh, I had a little paragraph here. Uh, money in the bank. We checked as far as uh, making life decisions as to deciding what house we could afford, where we could afford to live. How big a mistake we had to put away the cold? I kept digging with the question in mind, is this just an industry standard, or is this some kind of rule of law the state of Rhode Island has set up? Then I found on page S66-10-26 of the Securities Training Corporation study materials put out by the state for financial planners in Rhode Island I came upon the definition they are required to use for uh, pensions, different kinds of pensions. So I came upon the definition of the employer's responsibility in defined pension, defined benefit plans such as our pension. It included the following, and I was rocked to the core. It reads, with defined benefit plans, the employer is responsible for all of the following activities, cold. Funding the plan and making contributions based on actuarial assumptions. Two, investing the plan's funds. Three and four are bearing all of the investment risk. And the last point is providing benefits even if the plan's investments perform below expectations. So, the state of Rhode Island has commanded that we citizens be told that the items above are true that our defined pension benefits are indeed money in the bank with no risk to us, and we have lived our lives accepting and counting on what our state has ordered to be told to us. Then the state takes our pension away from us after we have retired. The state actually ordered people to tell me for 30 years I never had to worry about that cold. And if you hadn't heard that before, I have the book in my possession and I can certainly get it to you.